cool beans. Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more I Nirvana Initiative, Somnium Files. Uh, okay, which one's the latest one? This was like an auto save, but this looks like a manual save. So let's do this. Um, what am I doing? My stream better not hiccup tonight. I if thought it, it would does. be easier to talk to you this way. Uh, I'm gonna yell at Spectrum. I solved it. The ultimate dream that humanity has been yearning for for thousands of years. It will soon become a reality. If he's willing to lie about one thing, he's willing to lie about everything. Okay then, let's begin. The experiment worked! <laughs> <laughs> happy, happy Chikara! Happy, happy Chikara. And now I have no idea what's going to happen. It's good to have that refresher. Oh yes, I'm here at Nice. Oh, eyeball. No, go away. No, did I miss it? I missed the eyeball. No. Um, can I go to it through my menu? Don't you think it's wonderful you're talking about it? Yes. Oh, this is gonna load Tama's room. I totally forgot. No, it's not wonderful that I'm talking about it. Worried about relationships? No. Mm. Worried about health? Yes. Ah. Do you treat your body well? Um, I work out. And I take supplements, but, you know. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Thank you. But, wait, hold on. I thought you were worried about your health. I am. I have other health if problems. If you can exercise, aren't you healthy? No. Okay. Um, back. I, th I saw the eyeball marker there. What's an effective way of training? Bench press, upright row, back press, deadlift. Deadlifting? It's for training the deltoids, E. It's good for the butt lifting, too, E. I'm crazy, okay. Is it crazy to deadlift? I thought deadlifting was good for you. Um, I want this glass doll. There's a glass doll here. Lovely. Um, pond? What should I call this? A pond, maybe? Well, sure not a river. We'll go with pond for now. What the heck? Okay, um, let's just talk to her. Pokiko, uh, how did you end up here? I had a very hard time finding the place. After all, Nyes is a secret organization hidden from the public. That's a good thing Boss just happened to know someone who knew this location. Otherwise, we would have been out of luck. Even after I got inside the building, it wasn't easy. The guards, the security gates... If I hadn't met Mamoru at the entrance, I probably wouldn't even have made it to this office. I know about Abyss, and I know it's trustworthy. That's why I let you through to talk to the President. Is he the old dude's previous bodyguard? Wink sink? Ooh. No, not yet. Um. Whoa, please get me out of this. Mamoru, you're Tokiko's secretary. Yeah, but I'm also her bodyguard. Cat for toast. Hey, Kirby. Hey, Rico. How you doing? Thanks for joining. Happy Thursday. This is BS. No yummy feet. I didn't say there would be feet. I said there'd be brains. I used to be a bodyguard for a certain politician until the end of last year. Ha, he is. He was a piece of human garbage. I slugged him in the face and resigned. Then ended up here thanks to an acquaintance introducing me. Uh, about nice. I was only hired recently. I don't know much about it, really. Say something funny. Something funny. There, I said it. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Something funny. Your badge. That's something phony. What is this? A vaudeville routine? That wasn't funny at all. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Look, Pokiko Secretary Mamoru, I don't want to wink sink because- Ah, did I get another mosquito bite? Are you for real? Dang, I hate mosquitoes. Get away from me. You finished Zero Time Dilemma? Congratulations! What did you think? Uh, Tokiko. About nice. Anyway, I was surprised. I had heard of Nice, the secret organization, but I thought it was just an urban legend. 
I can't believe it actually exists. Yes, there has been all sorts of gossip about us. Some claim we're a secret society of Satanists, or that we have something to do with a sequence of binary code that came from space. But that's all nonsense. Made up stories that become more and more embellished as they were passed on. Rumors are quite a terrifying thing. Nyes is a perfectly legitimate ideological society. Mm. Our headquarters are located in New York, with many branches in cities throughout the world. This is one such branch. Uh, Nyes is an ideological society? This is a common misconception, but Nyes is not a religious organization. We are a group of like-minded individuals who act together based on a certain understanding of the universe. And that is? The simulation theory. Have you heard of it? Yes, but I don't remember it. That the world is an artificial simulation of reality created by someone or something. That's the theory. You're saying everything in this world we're living in isn't real? Yes. It's a false world constructed with specific rules by a program. And if it is made by a program, there must by necessity be imperfections, edges, or seams. Good luck finding those. To find these seams, or to create them, is our objective. Y'all are crazy. Why would you do that? If you tear at the seams of a cloth, it will unravel. I liked it, but I felt Delta was a deus ex machina to wrap everything up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, spoilers for Zero Time Dilemma, sorry, but remember that one time where they're like, wait, it, blah, 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 what's your name? And I think you, this was the thing you were talking about last time about Sean. It's like, oh, what's your name? And then, like, you know, you, they, you think you're, they're talking to the kid with the robot helmet. So you type in Q and they're like, no, that's not his name. And then you type in all these other names and then finally you're supposed to be like, oh, that's Delta. And then it's like, reveal, there's Delta. But then, and then if you go back into character profile, like Q, the child gets updated. And then they're like, oh, his real name is this. I never told you his name was Q, but that pissed me off because in all the promotional images, he was an introduced as Q. If you didn't want us to know his name, just put question marks on it. But they, like, named him Q. So that really made me mad, and I was like, that's so stupid. I hate it. I really did not like that. Thusly, we will tear at the seams of the program until it is unraveled, and its people are emancipated. That is our ultimate goal. This old hag has completely lost it. How will you tear the seams of the world? The intersection between the warp and weft. That's where the seam can occur. I don't understand. You will someday. It is a prophecy. It will be fulfilled eventually. What is that? It's a hand sign we use. It's meant to resemble the sign behind me. Can you show me the hand sign again? The hand sign is supposed to be that symbol behind Tokiko. Okay. Uh, what were you doing around 6 a.m. on the 9th? Judging by the way you asked that, I assume that's Jin's estimated time of death? Well, yes. I was in Okinawa from the night of the 8th. I had a seminar to attend on the 9th and 10th. I returned to Tokyo late last night. I checked the logs for hotels and airports, for smartphone access points, and the security footage for each location. It's true that Tokiko was in Okinawa from the 8th to the 10th. So she has an alibi. As long as you presume Jin's body wasn't brought back with her from Okinawa. Uh, about Bats 490. Considering the fact that you are here, I assume it would be pointless to hide it. Indeed, I had my subordinates create that video. Bats 490 was an ARG. Just a game. But there was a high-level encryption hiding a message within. We have been seeking high IQ individuals with the capability to decode it. The purpose was to recruit them into Nyes. So this QR video was made for the same reason? I am aware of that video. I saw it on the news. However, it's completely unrelated to Nyes. Liar! I assume someone made it with the intent to imitate Bats 490. What do you think, Tama? Hmm... Hard to say on that alone. 
about Shikara. Do you mean the man from Horadori Institute of Genetics? So you do know him. I'm actually here because of a tip I got from him. Shikara is under arrest? No, he was just released earlier. We didn't have enough evidence to keep him detained. I see. About your relationship with Chikara. Chikara is a former member of Nai's, though this was over 20 years ago. When he left us, he became an avid believer in the Order of Percent. Order of Percent? What? It's an organization that split off from Nai's. You could say they are a sect. The Order of Percent is a religious sect, whereas we are an ideological society. Despite our common roots, we are heading in completely different directions. Then how did Chikara know that Nyes created Bats 490? I wouldn't know about that. Perhaps he asked an acquaintance from Nyes. Wink sink. Damn it, nothing? What is going on here? Maybe she's not thinking about anything at all. Her mind is completely blank? Maybe she reached a state of selflessness. Or she's an android. Can you show me the hand side again? Show me the hand side again? Show me the hand side again? Okay. Did I exhaust all my options? I didn't because I don't have the map. That's the Nanyapal X, the symbol of Nyes. Nanyapal means consisting of nine. Nonary! You know how they're single, double, triple? Nanyapal is the ninth. So Nanyapal X means nine X's? Same so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Did you know that Nyes at Laws is derived from nine X at Lozenge? Lozenge referring to a diamond shape. In other words, Nizet Laws means the nine X's of the diamond. Hmm. Okay. By the way, would you mind if I asked you a Sorry, question? Sorry, I had to step away from my computer. What'd you say about. Hey, self, make me dab on my shoulder. Long time no say, I hope it's been well, dude. Um, the thing I said about Delta. I thought lozenge was a cough drop. Me too. I did not know it referred to a diamond shape. Um, the thing I said about Delta, again, spoilers for Zero Time Dilemma, because at one point all the characters are looking at you, like through the through the camera, and they're like, "Wait, who the heck are you?" And you type in the name Q because you think they're looking at the kid, but then they're like, "His name isn't Q." And then eventually you're supposed to put in the name Delta, and then you find out, "Whoa, Delta was there the whole time." And then if you look at the character profiles for the kid, it gets updated from like Q to whatever his real name is. And in the description, it's like, I never said his name was Q, but in all the promotional images before the game came out, he was introduced as Q. So it's like, why, why would we? Anyways, that was annoying. What is it? Are you perhaps a Freyer? Freyer? Frey, Frey. I thought I heard that somewhere before. I am asking the person within you. What? I will ask you one more time. Are you a Freyer? A Freyer? What am I to do? Are you a Freyer? Did I mean to go into the log? No? I see. Then I must have been mistaken. What is a frayer? Fray. Fray. Right. I remember now. It was written on that sign. Fray to free. Fray can mean fight, but it can also mean to wear out oh, and tear. Oh, that's where it was. Remember what Tokiko said. Their ultimate goal is to break down this world and emancipate its people. Miss Shigure. Are you sure Nyes didn't make the QR video? In a little over an hour, I'll be able to say TGIF. Hey, Golden, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Happy Thursday. In four more hours, I'll be able to say TGIF. We did not. But the word fray was written on that sign in the QR code. We of Nyes are only involved in Bats 490, which we created half a year ago. 
We are not the ones who created the QR video. The word Frey being displayed on that sign must be a coincidence. Yeah, right. That can't be just a coincidence. Oh, but it can. After all, we are living in nothing but a simulation. A false world created by a program. And such programs always have some glitches lurking under the surface. We call such glitches, scenes. Coincidences like this are a manifestation of such glitches. Proof of imperfection. Proof of the scenes. Deja vu. Ooh. The appearance of Jin's corpse is also likely to be an example of such phenomenon. What? There's a glitch in the Matrix! Are you familiar with the Philadelphia experiment? It's a top-secret military experiment that's said to have taken place in the American city of Philadelphia on October 28, 1943. A powerful electromagnetic wave was fired towards the USS Eldridge, a destroyer-class warship. Supposedly, the reason for doing this was to conceal the ship from showing up on radar. But as soon as the experiment began, something strange happened. The Eldridge was enshrouded in a greenish mist, then vanished. Afterward, it appeared at a military port in Norfolk, nearly 200 miles away from the shipyard in Philadelphia. Sometime later, it reappeared in its original position again. I don't believe this. So you're saying it teleported? Well, it's nothing but an urban legend. Just an occult story with low credibility. I relayed Thomas' story directly to Tokiko. Yes, exactly. However, the story doesn't end there. How's things? Things are good. I got some drawing done, but then my elbow started to hurt again, so I was like, okay, let's play games now. Let's rest my arm. East Coast gang, rise up. I can say it in one. Oh, dang. Uh, it's so late for you guys over there. We're living in the Matrix. She seems to think we're living in a simulated world, and so we have to get out of the simulation. I think she's crazy. When the USS Eldridge returned to Philadelphia, there were several sailors on board, but some of them had melted like a rotten banana, Ew. while others ended up with their bodies entirely burned and blackened. Others were said to have merged with the steel hull, their bodies having become a piece of the ship. Does that sound familiar? You mean Jin? Are you saying his right half teleported here? It isn't impossible. If a seam was torn, that is. It is impossible! Impossible. Y'all are crazy. Crazy toast. I'm not the one that's crazy. She's the one that's crazy. Yo 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 yagi park? Not yo yogi? Pet this cat, please. <laughs> pet, pet, pet. You like this park, don't you, Ryuki? I feel calm when I'm around nature. It's like I can feel the buzz inside me quieting down. Tama, what do you think about what Tokiko said earlier? Is something like teleportation really possible? Uh, hey, come on. I told you the Philadelphia experiment is just an urban legend. How else can you explain what happened with Jin? We can't deny that his right half suddenly appeared out of nowhere. <sighs> Jeez. Then why don't we find out for ourselves? What do you mean? You want to go to the studio right now? No need. Just close your eyes. My eyes? Just do it! Uh, okay. Oh, what the heck? Was that a sword? It's her girl. There's your feet. Just do it in bed. Ha ha ha. What the? Did we teleport here? Are you serious? We're in Studio Devita, aren't we? It just seems that way. We're not actually there. Last night, I scanned every nook and cranny of the scene. What you're looking at now is what I replicated using that data. Wow, it's like I'm actually there. The corpse looks so real. Want me to put a mosaic over it? Uncensored is fine. Now, less digressing and more investigating. Your objective is to solve the mystery behind the sudden appearance of Jin's right half. All right. Let's start looking around. 
Virtual reality activation. VR allows you to walk around a scene and gather information. Palma special vision modes such as x-ray mode can be applied to everything. Uh, by changing the special mode, what you can inspect will change. Utilize this to find hidden information. Oh. Wow, I can switch to x-ray mode too. I like Uncensored too. <laughs> That's because I've gathered all data from the scene. Corpse. What's this? There's something inside the body. Hmm. Hmm. Three things catch my attention. First, a mixture of potassium chlorate, sulfur, and red phosphorus. This is probably a fire starter. It would ignite very easily. The fuse is coiled up and extends from there. By the way, the fuse includes an oxidizing agent, so it can continue to burn even inside the body. And finally, at the end of the fuse is a powder mixture of iron oxide and aluminum. This is a substance that causes a thermite reaction. When ignited, it creates heat of over 3,000 degrees Celsius and burns violently. Situation of corpse internals. Inside the corpse is a fuel that goes off with even the slightest impact, a fuse, and a substance that causes a thermite reaction. So the corpse, I feel like, isn't really a corpse then. Like, it was just a fabricated doll. Um, and then they're like, oh, for traces of DNA, they just put like a little bit of his blood there. The bottom part of the signboard is stuck pretty deep in there. Hmm, there's a bit of a curve at the tip. Kind of like a man's, you know what? <laughs> oh my god. Couldn't you have compared it to a fish hook or something? Well, it won't come out easily. That's what she said. Whoever stuck it in probably didn't want it pulled out. Of course not. A signboard would be useless unless it's standing. It's useless unless it's standing? Ha ha ha. Uh, let's not go there. No, that's not what I meant. Huh? The signboard was stuck in the corpse, so it's difficult to remove. That's what she said, Jelly's vibing with Tama. <laughs> I am Tama. I can see the back of the set. There are a bunch of mannequins here. Bunch of man- oops, didn't mean to. Uh... Ooh! It's already been 20 minutes? What food do you make your visiting friends? Grilled eel, eel liver soup, eel hitsu mabushi, eel sushi. I don't know how to cook, but I guess the easiest thing would be grilled eel. I can pretend I'm rich e, haha. I'm bored. Orbs. Which to normal? Podium. It's the podium used by the quiz show hosts. Uh, These aren't good for much other than for show. Camera. Camera. That body was shown to the entire world through this camera. Let's look at your kettle here. Maybe it's for having tea during breaks. The Amabi TV logo on a huge monitor. The questions for the quiz also show up here, too. See for the quiz show contestants. See for the quiz show contestants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, big monitor Looks here. Looks like it's there so the performers can check how they look on screen. Camera. Mm. Uh. Monitor. It's a signboard. Or like Guy Ritchie, what? Yeah. Like I mentioned yesterday, Jin's estimated time of death is 6 o'clock on February 9th. Based on the time his corpse appeared, it should be about 40 hours ago. Hmm. Rigor mortis seems to be fading already. It's not completely gone yet, but the body has somewhat softened at this point. It should take more time to get to the stage if it's been on a rooftop in the winter. That's why I think this corpse was kept indoors. Someplace warm. 
rigor mortis was already fading and the body had somewhat softened by the time it was found. I can't examine anything on the ceiling. Go into x-ray mode. Nothing really pops up. What softened at this point? Ha 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 ha. Confirm status before the body busted. I'm bored stuck in a corpse. Hmm. What's this? Getting a better look at it. It looks like something tied to his waist. Oh. It's like a spider's thread. No. Even thinner. My analysis concludes that this is a CNT or carbon nanotube. Graphene sheets with the thickness of a single carbon atom. These were rolled into a cylindrical shape to make these nanotubes. The diameter is about 0.4 nanometers. A single nanometer is one billionth of one meter, so it's not visible to the naked eye. What? But I can see it. That's because this thread is made by bundling multiple CNTs. I've also enhanced your vision so you'd be able to see it. By the way, CNTs are extremely durable. They're elastic and hard to break. And it's said that their theoretical maximum tensile strength is 50 times that of steel. Anyway, where is the other end of the CNT connected? The ceiling. So it had to have dropped from the ceiling. Someone was there. That way. Over by that red lamp. Did I not try to examine this earlier? What's this? It's the light switch. The CNT is tied to it. CNT extending from the corpse is threaded through the ceiling beam and tied to the light switch. Yeah, so when the blackout happened, the body drops. Because only the lights went out, but the, like, the whole studio power did not. So someone messed with the lights. Okay, it looks like we're pretty much done investigating here. Using the clues we've gathered so far, we should be able to solve the mystery. You mean the mystery of how Jin's body appeared? That's what you're talking about, right? Yep. The truth reenactment allows you to find the truth with the information you have gathered. Answer Thomas' questions with the best answer. Only by correctly answering her questions will the, the truth be reenacted. Let's get on that now. First thing, about that power outage when the body appeared. Yo, this is like Detroit! Was it really just a power outage? I was wondering about that too. The lights came back on way too quickly. Plus, if the power did go out, the stream should have cut out at the same time. Uh, are you still in the park with your eyes closed? Yes. <laughs> How many Pokemon you catch? None. Why you gotta have a quiz? Just tell us. Whose side are you on? But then this gives you another activity to do in the game, which is fun. But the stream went on, no problem. So it wasn't an outage. The lights were switched off. So how did the lights get turned off? Well, I think I know what did it. Could it be a light switch? That's the switch that powers the lighting. Yeah, let's not overthink this. Someone simply walked up and flipped this switch. But no one was near the switch when the lights went out. Cause they could walk away from the switch. Let's try to think of something else. Are you for real? Then it's the... <laughs> CNT. There were bundled CNTs tied to the body. They were routed through the ceiling beams and onto the light switch. But a dead body can't pull strings. No, but it can fall. From the ceiling, I mean. Now that you mention it, I thought I heard something hit the floor right after the lights went out. The body fell from the ceiling and tugged on the CNT, which caused the light switch to turn off. So on to the next question. So ultimately, it was a light switch. Oh, whatever, whatever. The corpse was hidden up in the ceiling, right? Then how did it fall? Ceiling beams are damaged, CNT attached to switch was pulled, rigor mortis softened, the culprit dropped it from above. 
I'm gonna save Rigor Mortis. The culprit used the mechanism of the body softening after Rigor Mortis. The body must have been placed up in the ceiling like a bridge between two beams. It would stay up there while the body is still stiff. But as time passes and Rigor Mortis lessens, the corpse softens. And that's what made it fall down. Now for the final question, why did the body explode and burn? Well, that can be explained by using the X-ray mode. because of the contraption set up inside the body. The ignition agent combusted from the impact of the body hitting the ground. The fire went up the coiled fuse and onto the substance that triggered a thermite reaction. The substance was eventually ignited, causing a huge explosion. So that interval between the fall and explosion was because of the time it took for the fire to reach the end of the fuse. I get it. It was hard to find traces of that trick because it was such an analog method. This theme is a... Yeah, like, the music's right. pretty cool. I think we're starting to figure things out here. Like, not too intrusive. Very nice background music. So you can turn off this VR space now. No, not yet. That was just a rehearsal. We still have the main show. What do you mean? We're recreating the culprit's actions. Are you telling me to do that? You're the only actor here, aren't you? Actor? Man, I am so. Sleepy. I'm Tama, the director and camera operator. Now that I'm in the director's chair, I'm not going to tolerate shoddy acting. So keep that in mind. Are we recording something? Of course we are. We're testing a theory here, so we need to create something that can be viewed objectively. I have no idea what you're going on about. Check your stupid mouth, you third rate bit part actor! What the heck? Are you too much of a moron to figure this out without the director having to tell you everything? But... Just zip it and play the culprit. If we're doing this, we're going for the Macademy Award. Macademy? Like, the nuts? That's macadamia. Enough! Let's get this started! Ready? Action! Um... Hi! I'm, uh... The culprit who killed Jin. Now... Prepare to witness an amazing show featuring this corpse! <sighs> Not only is your acting amateurish, but I don't even understand what kind of character you're trying to play here. I am an amateur! Well, this is just the beginning, so I'll give you a pass for now. What is going on? Let's start with the positioning of the body. Where and how was it placed? Well... Are they just basically recapping everything? It was right here. The body was placed so it was hung like a bridge between two beams. You can place it like this because it was stiff from rigor mortis. So that's how they did the light trick. Carbon nanotubes, CNT, were tied to the body. Damn toast, macadamia toast. <laughs> the CNT went up the beams and extended downward onto the light switch. CNT is too thin to be seen with the naked eye, so no one noticed it. I've got it all set up. Now I just need to wait for the rigor mortis to subside. Hey, aren't you supposed to be in character? Boy! I sure hope the corpse gets softer soon! It needs to be soft and squishy! Like an octopus! This scene makes no sense. I'm cutting it out. You made me do it! Why can't this and be like passed, Detroit where they're just like, play the simulation subside. now? Why do you have to have the, the weird falls, dialogue? The impact sets off the ignition agent inside it. The fire travels up the fuse line. Soon after, a staff member turns on the lights. Bam! A body appears, as if it teleported in out of nowhere. Sometime later, the burning fuse inside the body reaches the explosives. Would it have lit the CNT tube on fire too to get rid of that and evidence? That is the truth behind the corpse's sudden appearance and explosion. Cut. Good work. I got some nice footage of the reenactment. I still don't understand why the acting was necessary. Same. Posture check. Hey, you smooth. How you doing? Thanks for joining. Happy Thursday.
I forgot to stretch my arms today, so my shoulder is stiff. Uh, I need to do a, a quick massage after this. I went um, exercising again. I usually walk up a hill one mile near my house, and then I walk back down a mile. It's good cardio. It all makes sense now. <laughs> Kirby, never say that again. <laughs> That corpse oh, didn't teleport hugs, here Kirby. after all. Of course it didn't. Though the culprit obviously wanted it to seem that way. Half of a body just suddenly appearing out of nowhere. Just like the Philadelphia experiment. Someone went through all that trouble to make it look like something strange occurred. I think they also wanted to draw as much attention as possible to that sign. All so they could spread that QR video. About the time rigor mortis would subside. The culprit must have wanted the body to fall during the live stream, right? It would have been pointless otherwise. But could they really predict when rigor mortis would dissipate so accurately? The culprit didn't put the corpse up on the ceiling beams while it was completely stiff. It had to have been after the body had started to soften, just slightly. Sloppy toast. Why am I sloppy? That way, they could estimate that the body would fall in a few hours or so. The stream was scheduled for a whole six hours. The culprit was fine as long as the body fell sometime during that period. Uh, why did the culprit blow up the corpse? Their goal was to make it seem like a supernatural phenomenon. That's why they couldn't leave the CNT on the scene. Because it would give away the trick? Right. So that's why they caused a thermite reaction and destroyed the CNT. Okay, yeah, so that was right. CNT is highly flammable carbon material. It doesn't stand a chance against 3000 degree temperature, but it bonds with oxygen to create carbon dioxide, which helps extinguish the flame. About the reason the corpse's cross section was facing downward. That body fell from the studio ceiling. If it fell sideways when it landed, the culprit's plans would have been ruined. Yes, like you said, it would have been pointless unless the sign was standing erect. Just like a man's you know what? Again with that joke? Besides, it is not useless when it's not erect. Exactly. What? There was another purpose to the sign. It's the same reason darts and rockets have tails. I get it. The cut surface would naturally face the ground because of that sign. It was meant to control the body's posture as it fell. So, to wrap it all up, the culprit's motive was to make this seem like a supernatural phenomenon and to spread the QR video, right? So now we have to find out the secret behind this QR video. I don't know if that's all there is to it, but probably. I wonder why Jin was chosen. Who knows? Because he's not real! Where could his left side be? It hasn't been found yet. Anyway, starting our search with the people who might that's have the intel we need is the number one rule of investigation, right? Like who? Jin's right half was up in the studio ceiling the whole time we were shooting the show. There must be someone who knew about it, or at least noticed it. You mean... The director, Jinpei Wagai. Right. Where is he now? I've tracked him down using his smartphone GPS. He's in Akihabara right now. At Akiba. the Cafe Sunfish Pocket. Let's go! Sunfish Pocket. I wonder why Mizuki's keeping Sunfish Pocket open. Because it was opened by her dad. But maybe she's like, eh, whatever, I don't really know his business details, so I let other people handle all of his assets and whatever. Or it's just one less asset for the game team to make. Because they're like, we already have this. Let's just use it as another location. Are those jellyfish lamps new, though? I don't think they were there last time. There he is! Ah, shit! What? <gasps> Damn! Why?
No, this is gonna be another shooting one. Ah! Shoot someone else, you crazy! Ah! They tricked me! It wasn't directional button! Oh, it's over. Quickie Toast. He moved way Firing faster than your left away. Are you insane? Yeah, I did. Yuki's got moves. There are customers and staff in here! My bad. An apology is not gonna cut it! Several people have called the authorities. The local police should be here soon. You're going to jail now! Hey, can't you just let me go? No, you shot at me! What? I told you, my girl's pregnant, right? Why did you shoot at me? I can't go to jail! I don't care! That's why I accepted his offer in the first place. Huh? I needed money to take care of my kid. Accepted whose offer? Some guy. Name Terror. I don't know his real name. Haven't seen his face or heard his voice either. All my contact with him was through Nile. What did he ask you to do? He said. I want to borrow your studio for an hour or so on the 10th before you start preparing for the stream. Do not let anyone near the studio during this time. That includes you. All you need to do is keep the entrance unlocked, that's all. I'll pay you 5 million. If everything goes well, I'll pay you on the night of the 11th. So me and the staff haven't met this terror guy at all. I don't know what happened in the studio either. Well, why did you shoot at me? I had no idea that was gonna happen. Come to class 3A at Sekiba High. You'll get your money there. Class 3A at Sekiba High. Ryuki! Yeah, let's go. Well, there are multiple witnesses that saw you pull out a gun and shoot, so, like, you're not getting away. Ugh. You know, if I ever wanted to get shot, I wouldn't mind a Bay Cafe, but at least I get shot by a goth. <laughs> at least let me get shot by a goth mate. <laughs> Paintballing Maid Cafe. How about that? <gasps> ah! The director of Horidori Institute of Genetics, Chikara Horidori. No way. It can't be. Even the major would have a hard time erasing memories from that. <laughs> oh. Like, I understand panicking, but why the freak would you- Hey, it's my birthday! February 12th! Nothing to be done! Mr. Date told me about this shrine. This place is so full of nature. Just like Yoyagi Park. It's just... calming here. I see. Tama, would you mind giving me some support? What do you mean? I've been thinking about Chikara's murder. Are you sure you're okay, Ryuki? What do you mean? I feel like all of this has been taking a huge mental toll on you. I'm fine. More importantly, can you recreate the crime scene for me? I just need to close my eyes, right? Yeah, but... <sighs> fine. I'll play along. You are technically my master. I can't disobey your orders. Thanks. Uh, let's start then. Who could a terror be? I mean, probably someone we didn't even interact with yet. They're probably gonna show up way late in the game. I feel like, um... What's his name? Michelin Tire Man? that runs the Indian restaurant. It's perfect. They're it's trying like to the make him thing. look shady on purpose, 
to have us suspect him, but I think he's gonna be innocent. I learned how to do 3D modeling in a correspondence course. Back when I was a student, my grandma told me I should learn a skill set. Ooh, eyeball. What ability might be useful against old men? Straight lead, finger jab, somersault kick, Schmidt style backbreaker? Backbreaker! It's a Jeet Kune Do thing, maybe. Backbreaking move. E. I'm impish. <laughs> Ooh! Evolved to Datei. Received a thousand eyeballs. Nice. If I could have just a thousand eyeballs. I became an adulty. Thanks for talking to me so much. -y. Oh, eyeball -y strategy guide has been added to manual and file. Adult will not grow any further. Think of next question. Oh, so, okay. So I reset then, because it won't. Um, current character will leave to another timeline. Yes. Bye bye. Can you answer more questions so I can become an adulty? What kind of tsukomi do you like? Metaphorical, playing along, simple. That doesn't exist. Um, playing along. Right, slap some sushi rice on it, spin it, and no, idiot. <laughs> By the way, nice, good heat or warm bath will help your muscles and shoulders. Yeah, I haven't really been taking um hot baths or sh not. I haven't been taking hot showers just because it's been so hot in California. I've been taking just like cold showers and I don't think that's helping my shoulder. <laughs> I just want to check the flow chart because I think I might have delved onto another path when I answered a question at Nice. Uh, once you clear Somnium, you can select it as an unlimited sink with no time limit. Ooh. Ooh, excuse me. Okay, no, that did not branch into another path. We're still on the same one. Okay. Steamy toast. I hate, I hate taking showers though, it's so annoying. Corpse! X-ray. I'm sorry, Ryuki. This might freak you out, but there's something I have to tell you. Will you hear me out? Um, what? The thing is, this corpse is so cowardly that... It has no guts! Haha! <laughs> what? <laughs> I know, I know. That was so bad, the joke was over before I even said it. But I just had to do it! I mean, look, the I corpse just had to is do completely it to missing its guts! I couldn't let this chance pass me by. Uh, look. Jakar's right side. The cross section is stuck right onto the blackboard. What's the estimated time of death? Based on the time the body was discovered, that would make it about four hours ago. So, around 8 p.m. on February 11th, right around the time we were meeting with Tokiko. Gutsy toast. She had Looks guts. Looks like there aren't any other clues here. That's it? Just- What? Just see that the corpse has no guts? No inner- That's why I don't think it's the real person. I think it's just a fabricated doll. Because we did see him earlier on the 11th, and for him to have well, no guts satisfied? completely, and like, blood wasn't even dripping from that, like, I don't- Hmm. I don't think so. Uh, well, what about security cameras at Sekibahai? I checked the footage, but I didn't see anyone suspicious. Of course, that place is huge, so there are plenty of areas the security cameras don't cover. Any cameras on campus? None. Do you remember what Gen said? The security at Sekibahai is completely lacking. Uh, about the Nile message terror sent Chimpe. I think he was lying about the money. Terror probably wanted someone to find Chikara's body. You mean he wanted Chimpei to find it? Not necessarily. It might have been for the police. Terror might have predicted that someone from the police would contact Chimpei. Is Terror the culprit? That's my assumption. I can't think of any other suspects. Pretty... Just who is this Terror? I wouldn't be having so much trouble if I knew that. It 
can't be Tokiko, can it? Okay, so at first I thought terror was like a play on terror. And it's just like, haha, I'm ripping up bodies. But now that we talked to Tokiko at Nice, and she was like, we are tearing the, the fabric of reality. It has to be someone within Nice. Tokiko was with me at Chikara's time of death. And she was in Okinawa during the incident with Jin. Yeah, at the very least, it seems unlikely that she did it personally. But something has been bothering me. I feel like Tokiko is involved somehow. Chikara was a member of Nice and he knew about Bats 490. That's not all. The appearance of Jin's corpse was made to seem like a paranormal phenomenon, as if the same thing from the Philadelphia experiment had happened. Oops, After all, we are living in nothing but a simulation. A false world created by a program. Could she have done all this to give her claim credibility? I don't know, but it's possible. I want it. To, In any wait, case, whenever I work out, Tokiko. I think of Goku and what he said to go on after training, let your muscles heal in hot water or steam. Nice words. I wanted to say earlier, but I forgot. It's so weird that Yuki did a pose to look into people's minds and no one bats an eye. I know! It's weird. Well, maybe no one else was at the park, so they didn't see him do it. I have to talk to her. Understood. You've come this far. I'll back you up until you're satisfied. Oh yeah, another reason why I started taking um, like colder showers is because my bathroom for some reason takes so long to heat up the water. So like sometimes I just have to wait like 10 minutes just for it to get warm. And that is such a huge waste of water, especially since California is in a drought. So I'm like, you know what, just take lukewarm or just cold showers. I've been expecting you. I thought you would be arriving soon. What do you mean? I mean... I knew you would come see me. Tokiko, do you know someone named Chinpei Wagai? No, I don't. Then do you know about Terror? I've heard that name on the news, yes. Uh, do don't you remember he did a pose to look into that android's mind and he did a... Power Ranger move? He did? I don't remember the Power Ranger move. This is about the culprit, is it not? Yes, but... I have absolutely no idea who it could be. I'm sorry I can't help you, but... Um... About Chikara's murder. I know of the incident, of course. However... Yes, I know you have an alibi. We were here, having a conversation during the time of Chikara Horidori's death. But that doesn't necessarily mean you're completely innocent. You are the president of Nyes. Surely you have plenty of subordinates who can do your bidding. Are you implying I ordered someone to kill him? It's a possibility. And what would be my motive? Um, well... Remember what Tokiko said. Chikara Horidori is an avid believer in the Order of Percent. Their order and Nyes are heading in completely different directions. Perhaps Nyes and the Order of Percent are hostile. I see. You're suggesting there was a conflict between organizations. It is true that Nyes and the Order of Percent have differing beliefs. However, we are not at odds with one another. Both organizations believe in the simulation theory. In that respect, we are comrades. Uh, what do Nyes and the Order of Percent believe in? We are living in a simulation, a false world. And from this false world, we seek emancipation. That is what Nyes believes. On the other hand, the Order of Percent. We are living in a simulation, a false world. But they wish to remain imprisoned within it forever. Forever? Mr. Ryuki, have you ever played an open world game where you play as a criminal? No. A game that lets you rob, murder, blow things up, leave a trail of debris wherever you go? I have never played GTA. An absurd, heinous game where you can freely commit all sorts of horrible crimes. I've never played anything like that, but I know what you mean. Then you can understand. If this is a false world created by someone, then the Order of Percent believe they can do whatever they wish. 
To them, this place is a true utopia. A dream world where they're allowed to do anything they want with no real consequences. That's why they want to live here forever? Exactly. I get it. That's why Jikara was researching immortality. In theory, using Purge, even immortality is achievable. The ultimate dream that humanity has been yearning for for thousands of years. It will soon become a Too reality. bad we don't have bathhouses. I know. It sucks. What do you think? Isn't that wonderful? About Chikara's research on immortality. I am aware that Chikara was very particular about immortality. However, I will say one thing. One must not believe in eternal youth. Eternal youth is a lie. Duh. Jin's right half didn't teleport. I've solved the mystery, Miss Shigure. Jin's right half didn't teleport. It was just made to seem that way. It should have been obvious when you think about it. Teleportation? It's impossible. We live in a simulation? This is a fake world created by a program? Impossible. Simulation theory is nothing but occult nonsense. Just a ludicrous myth like UFOs, ghosts, and Kappa. I'm sure there are people who'd like to believe in these things. And there are groups who profit by making people believe. Mr. Ryuki, it appears as though there's been some misunderstanding. Don't make people mad about their beliefs and saying that they're wrong. <laughs> we of Nyes have nothing to do with this. Are you sure about that? Ooh, his eyes went dead. All the pieces would fit together if Nyes is the one that made the QR video. The falsified paranormal phenomenon. What was written on the signboard. It all advances your agenda. Could it be that you wanted to spread the QR video by showing that sign along with the corpse on stream? As I've told you, we are not the ones who made the QR video. What is the purpose of the QR video in the first place? Are you saying there is some message urging people to join Nyes in it? By the way, Mr. Ryuki, do you remember what you said earlier? Simulation theory is nothing but occult nonsense. That is clearly false. The simulation theory is not occult. It falls within the realm of science. Science? How? In fact, many esteemed scientists have given serious thought to the matter. The theory was originally proposed by a Swedish philosopher. However, the concept has been around since long ago. Even as far back as the days of Plato and Zhuang Se. This world may be an illusion. At least, there is no way to prove it isn't an illusion. That's not science, that's philosophy! There are great people throughout history who have held such ideas. But there's no way to prove it is an illusion either, is there? No, there is plenty of science to support it. No! The holographic principle, theory of relativity, the measurement problem in quantum theory can also be considered proof. What? What? The Swedish philosopher's claim? I'd like to ask you one thing. Beings that are far more intelligent and advanced than we humans. Do you believe a civilization of such beings exists anywhere in this world? No. And by this world, I mean all possible worlds in the entire universe including those outside of our own. No. Well, somewhere out there, probably. I agree. I don't. Taking that into consideration, we're left with three possibilities. One, civilization hasn't reached a level of technology advanced enough to create a simulation that can't be distinguished from reality. What? Then... Then... You're saying civilization hasn't reached that level. So obviously we're not in a simulation then! Two, civilization has reached a level of technology advanced enough to accomplish this. But it hasn't for some reason. Cause we don't need it! Three, civilization has reached that level of technology and has no strong reason not to use it. Exactly! Therefore they've proceeded with creating an intricate simulation. What? Which of these do you think is most likely? Are you saying it's three? That is what a famous Swedish philosopher believed, at least. He further explains, that civilization must have run simulations millions or even trillions of times. In which case, it would make sense to believe our world would be included in one of those simulations. 
You're saying it's far more likely that we're one of the countless simulated worlds, rather than a world that exists in the one and only reality. Do I have that right? Yes. You're crazy! Additionally, the simulation in the real world may be a simulation in itself, kind of like a Matryoshka doll. Just so you know, I'm not saying I believe the simulation theory. The simulation theory isn't too credible because of this Matryoshka Avska. What? Modern day scientists say there's a 50 50 chance we live in a simulation. The drummer I played with after practice had a similar conversation. Okay. But say, for example, we are in a simulation. Would it break you? Would it, like, totally upset you and ruin your world order to find out it is a simulation? Would that upset you so much that you're just like, hey, this kind of sucks. Let's find the truth. Like, I'm just gonna live with it. Like, what? Ooh. I hate talking about philosophy. Ugh. The holographic principle? Even light cannot escape a black hole. I'm sure you've heard this before. Information is the same. It cannot escape a black hole. It's known that the amount of information trapped in this way is not derived from the volume of the black hole, but the surface area. Considering this, you can conclude that information in a three-dimensional space is stored in the boundary of its two-dimensional surface. In other words, all information stored in this universe is encoded in a single flat plane, just like a hologram. Regarding gravity and other physical processes, they can be completely accounted for through the laws of physics defined by the boundary surface. Let's take a character from an action game, for example. When that character falls, you may think he was pulled to the ground by gravity. However, gravity does not actually exist in the game world. Only code that was written in the program. The character's body is merely made to show as if it fell based on its code. No. Oh, that's so stupid! You think this world is the same? The holographic principle is not a theory. It is a principle. It has already been mathematically proven. Ah! Okay, my, my thinking about gravity in a game world. It's because if there is ground, if there is a ground asset that spans so much distance, then you're gonna say, hey, whenever you're on this, you're not just gonna, like, that means you're not gonna fall through. So there is some sort of gravity. There's there's something pulling you down. Like, and so if there's gaps between grounds, then yeah, you're gonna fall through. It what? That just the base the base like status of you as a character falling through the ground, like, yeah, you're gonna fall through unless Unless you give- uh, what? Uh, so stupid. I- uh, This is so stupid. Uh, scientists say even if we are, there's no way we can ever do anything about it. But uh, then it's just like, why- Why do you try to find out? <laughs> Maybe it's just me, like, I'm just content living this one life and just being done? I don't care that I'm just one person out of a sea of, like, a- six billion people i don't care like i don't care that i'm not going to be super famous and leave a mark on the world like some people it matters to them a lot they want to leave like a good mark on the world like and be like i helped all these people good for you i'm not striving to do that <laughs> I... <laughs> that, was, that was bad. but it acts like gravity because it's constantly pushing the character down it's yeah, because, like, say, for example, I make a plane in whatever game engine for to make a game. But I don't set that material as, like, hey, make sure this is not, like, penetrable. So then gravity still exists, because, like, it, unless I turn that aspect on, you're going to fall through anyway. So, like, gravity exists. This lady's crazy. 
It's like the game itself isn't aware of concept of gravity and is programmed in the game. That's what she's saying. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I, s I okay. I guess that makes it clearer what she's trying to say. I still think it's stupid. <laughs> Red pill or blue pill, guys? If you think about it, this planet is our habitat. We can't exist outside of it without some aid, which is really hard, but we still have our consciousness, our friends, our families, animals, bills, although that could be deleted. Hmm. I remember making a programming class where we had to invent the physics gravity for our spring. Yeah, I guess in that sense, like, you'd have to be like, hey, taking account, like, calculations of, like, you know, force and gravity and whatever, whatever, but, you know... It's just... Ugh. I just... Ugh, this is... I'm sorry, this is dumb. <laughs> I'm getting... Uh, the processing speed problem? Say this world really is a simulation. Then that would mean a computer or something that's running the simulation exists somewhere, right? But it doesn't seem realistic that everything that happens in the universe could be derived by calculation. Yes, you are right. However, there is no need to calculate every phenomenon, only what observers see and experience. Take the measurement problem in quantum theory. It explains the inexplicable phenomenon observed in the double slit experiment. Quantum matter appears as particles when observed, and as waves when not observed. For the latter, its position cannot be specified because it exists as a stochastic wave. Therefore, it must be calculated and processed as the entire wave, and is impossible to reduce. The faster an object moves, or as the effects of gravity increase along with the increase in mass, time progresses slower, as I'm sure you know. And that's related to processing speed? Yes. When the load during calculation is increased, a phenomenon akin to a processing failure occurs. That is why nothing can exceed the speed of light. The calculation wouldn't be able to catch up if acceleration is infinite. And now she's like, Oh, uh, there would be too much processing power if you, you know, if you want to calculate every phenomenon. Think of how many freaking people there are in the world and everything they see and experience. Like, something has to be calculating all of their senses and memory and like how they're interacting with it like this is so stupid so dumb it's basically if there's gravity in a game then the game was programmed to have that gravity is what she's saying a p-cross game won't have gravity but yeah philosophy makes me i'll be honest half of what she said went over my head during this part yeah because it's stupid Let me explain the double split experiment. We shoot a ray of light toward a board with two slits with a screen behind it. This causes the rays to be distorted to look like stripes. This is because the light has the property of a wave. Then what would happen if we shot light molecules one at a time? The light molecules will show up as a dot on the screen. By continuously doing this, the stripes appear. Why is this? The light molecules are only being shot one by one, so the board shouldn't have an effect. The next part of this experiment was done using a detection device to see which slit the molecule went through. This caused the stripes to disappear, and only two lines appeared on the screen. Isn't that interesting? When it's not being observed, they appear as waves, but as soon as you try to observe it, they appear as lines. This is just a detection problem. Anything suspicious about Tokiko? Not really. She's a kind woman. But I obviously wouldn't tell you even if I did know something. As her secretary, it's part of my job to protect her secrets. Mamaru is an excellent employee who faithfully fulfills his duties. I have complete trust in him. I'm honored to hear that. I respect you from the bottom of my heart as well. Gag. About this room. As you know, this is the president's office at the Nye's Japan branch. The world is full of rubbish. Such things should all be washed away. That was my thinking when I designed this room. And yet you have two statues, some lights, a glass doll, a desk. Like, I thought things were rubbish. You designed it. Yes. The flow of water cleanses one's heart, just like the flow of time. Why the sunglasses? These aren't sunglasses. It's a fairy's black bra. What? What a degenerate. <laughs> Mamoru, Tokiko's secretary and bodyguard, an absolute pervert wearing a black bra on his face. I'm getting sleepy. 
I see. Then let us leave it at that. In any case, <sighs> jelly toast is more no like jelly, right? Simulation remember Mamoru would like Porno Max from the first games? I don't remember. Make me know Jelly's least favorite character. Yeah! <laughs> bra. I mean, bra. A black bra sounds uncomfortable to wear on your face. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> but unlike Chikara, I have no interest in the concept of immortality. Because my objective is to tear at the seams of this world and emancipate us all. So you mean dying? No. Death and emancipation are completely different. I have no desire to commit suicide, though I would be fine with dying at any time. Because this world isn't real. There is that, yes. However, there is another reason. If I wish to do so, I can resurrect myself. We are living in a false world created by a program. Therefore, if we can rewrite its code, we can create miracles. Like reincarnation. Whoa, her eyes changed. Bringing someone who has already passed back to life. Okay, that's her stake in the game. She wants to bring someone back to life. Has this woman lost it? Ryuki, you were right. There's clearly a lot of reasons to be suspicious of Tokiko. Yeah. Let's check with Wingsink. Uh, glass, glass law. It's been shattered into pieces. Uh, is that business appropriate? <laughs> hey, I mean, Tokiko seems cool with it, so I guess it is. Creepy face, yeah. So she obviously lost someone she cared about, and she's like, nope, this is a simulation. I'm gonna be able to get my lost person back. I was tempted to make a joke about your glasses being transparent, bra like Babadoos, but that seemed not business appropriate. <laughs> it's business time. Do -do 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 -do. It's business. It's business time. I saw everything. If you don't do as I say, I'm sure you know where this is going. What? What is this? Looks like Tokiko is blackmailing someone. What is it she saw? I don't know. This is as far as we can get through Wing Sink. Then... Yes, let's get a deeper look into her mind, using a regular sink. You're under arrest! And on my birthday, I had to talk to this crazy lady. Ugh. Terrible birthday present. I'll warn you not to worry about finding eyeballs for the stink. Ryuki. Yeah, just I'm to gonna confirm, try not to do it. You did get permission, right? Yes, she accompanied me voluntarily and... No, I met from Boss. I haven't seen Boss. She wasn't in the control room. It's fine. I'll be sure to talk to her later. Hmm. I don't think this is a good idea. Besides, you don't look so good, Ryuki. I'm fine. So please, I need more leads to solve this case. But you... Oh, fine. I'll help you for now, but I won't be held responsible. Deal? Look, Ryuki. Please just don't cause any problems. Technically, you're streaming as a business. Are you okay with this game? What? You can only stay insomnium for six minutes. I absolutely need you to follow this rule. Yes, understood. Okay, then. Let's begin. I mean, I'm... I'm enjoying this. It's just that one sec... Like, she's just crazy. <laughs> Like, oh, this world is a simulation, oh, philosophy, or whatever, like, that's, that's just, uh. It's okay, Tom agreed with you, the game knows. 
The game knows that she is not all right. <laughs> Thank you for the hugs, Kirby. I mean, I'm still enjoying this game. It's just, wow, that... I don't like <laughs> philosophy talk. <laughs> It's like I, I took a philosophy nice elective room. in college. It's really white though. Let's make an acronym poem with the letters for nice. Where the hell is this coming from? N. Okay, okay. N. N. Not that I know why. Yeah, but like, oh man, that philosophy class sucked because it's like, hey, like, our ultimate goal is to figure out, like, is this world real? Are we real? And I'm just like, why do you care? I mean, I had to like think about it and do it because I was taking a philosophy class, but never again. Hey, 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 hey. Angry. I, I, I. Incoming. X. Shingu River Ray. Not that I know why. Angry incoming Shingu River Ray. The Shingu River Ray. Such a kind animal. Angered by humans polluting waterways, I guess. That was a weird acronym. Somnium scan. Activate. I never took philosophy, and I'm glad I never did. <laughs> I love when Yuki is derpy like this. Yep, I enjoy it too. And yeah, never take a philosophy class. And to lock one. Mental lock two. A mental lock a three. Oh, there's Kyoko. Kyoko? Tokiko. <laughs> it seems like Tokiko was threatening someone. By peeking into her mind's abyss, you might discover something. Shoot! This I is such a quiet place. So empty and blank. Sorry, I got the sudden urge to go to the bathroom, so I will be right back. I've been drinking so much water. Sorry, be right back. Watery toast. <laughs> okay, still empty and black. Maybe that's Tokiko's mental state. Pretty eccentric. Hopefully we can find something here. Looks like we can only interact with that ripped up book. Right. Let's investigate. A book of nice teachings. Why is it ripped in half? Because it's stupid and useless. Does it say anything? Yeah, just one phrase. The intersection between the warp and wet. The rest is ripped off. I remember Tokiko saying something like that. The intersection between the warp and wet, that's where the scene can occur, right? I wonder what she meant by that. Who knows? Why don't you join Nice to find out? Anyway, that's about all that we can get from this book. Okay, so there's no branching paths here. It's just one way we can go. All of blank into blank, and the blank are blank to blank. Ah, hair in my ear. Tier 2 toast holding its bladder. 
<laughs> Jelly bladder. No, I want to make it um, whole drinking boba, but maybe I should make that an animated one. Oh, get out of my ear. Mm. All right. Ah, it's uncomfortable. That's an eyeball. When did this get here? This wasn't here earlier. What does it say? That's where the scene can occur. Combining it with the book from earlier, the intersection between the warp and weft, that's where the scene can occur. That's exactly what Tokiko said. If it's coming out in her Somnium, it must hold some significance. Whoa. That's just what we saw in the wink sink. Surprise, she was talking to Chinpei. Okay. Someone died. Oh my gosh! Again? That's not sketchy at all. I saw the seam? How is that the seam? Cipher the book and find AI. All of blank into her writing, and the blank are blank to blank. I can't really make out what happened, though. I did see Gen, I think. It was just really chaotic. Maybe the key to solving this Somnium has to do with what we found in the Nice book. The intersection between the warp and weft, that's where the scene can occur. That will help us? I don't know about that. I don't see how that will help us right now. I don't think it's completely unrelated, but... Hmm. The next suspicious thing is... The blood? Do you see anything? Mmm, not really. Seems a lot deeper. It was pretty shallow earlier. Let's dive in! What? Dive? Here? Yeah. Where else would I be talking about? But it's really deep. And Red, what if there's an angry Shingu River Ray in there? Enough with the complaining. You don't even need to breathe. It'll be fine. Go for it. Fine. Why do you always gain this weird confidence during sinks? Because I don't have to deal with it. You can swim around underwater. Underwater movement will also progress time. Oh, how do I dive? Oh, descend L2. Oh, it's really deep. This is so freaking deep. That was surprising. All of a sudden, we're out of the water. We fell from up there. But we ended up in the same room. Oh, look, the book again. Let's check it out. This one's not ripped. No, that's pro CD. <laughs> Just another single phrase. Where the black light gathers, sadness is born. You don't say. Where the black light gathers. Oh, a skull. Multiple skulls? Whoa. She killed multiple skulls? people. Why is Tokiko thinking about this? Hmm? Wait, I sense something. What is this thing? Huh. They're not doing anything. With this and the skulls, this is getting really creepy all of a sudden. Maybe that's the black. Hmm. Let's just search the room for now. I've been too deep and I'm trying to keep the thought in my head. 
It's dead. Yeah. I'm going if we can't under. find anything, we'll reread the book and think through our options again. Uh, all the blank into her writing, and the blank are blank to those teachings. I don't think I have time to investigate all the skulls. It's a skull. It's normal sized. Normal sized for what? It's an adult skull. What is it doing here? Strongly tied to those teachings. It's a big skull. Bigger than an adult skull. What is Tokiko planning on doing, gathering all this? Well, oh, we person. are in a dream. This could have come from a movie she saw or something. I hope so. All of her ideas are poured into her writing and the... Yeah, so she created nice because she's depressed. A small skull. Mm, there's nothing suspicious about it. Hmm. All of her ideas are poured into her writing and the rules of this dream are strongly tied to those teachings. A skull. And looks ordinary. Is Tokiko into skulls? Knowing her, I wouldn't be surprised if her house was filled with them. This one is bigger and misshapen. Gen! Gen? He looks like he's in pain. Why? Because he's being manipulated by her? Or people are shaming him? Disappeared. I wonder what the relationship between Tokiko and Gen is. What was that? Ryuki, you okay? Oh, yeah. Looks like the book was the hint. Where the black light gathers, sadness is born. After the sink, we need to ask Tokiko about Gen. But what? Tokiko has blank blank and blank 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 within blank. But I didn't examine all the school. What does the black light have to do? All I did was examine skulls. Ah! Kid! Did you see that? It became Shoma, Shoma for a split second. Maybe Tokiko is related to him as well. Is... Is Shoma... Is Tokiko Shoma's mom? Why Shoma? Tama, make chase! Throw yourself in the water! Not yet! You make it sound like I'm committing suicide. No! There's an eyeball uh, behind a chair! Okay... No, 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 Ryu, no! you have five minutes remaining. No, there's an eyeball in the chair! Frag! No! Oh, damn it. I hope I got the lyrics to that song right. I don't really know the correct lyrics. But I think you got it pretty spot on. Damn it, eyeball. I know I said I wouldn't look for the eyeballs, but it was right there! I saw the sparklies! That it's makes me mad. the room again. But this time, the room itself is underwater, too. If this is the same as earlier, there has to be something related to Shoma. Give me the eyeball. Ah! Ah! Is this? It says, where the water and ideas flow, love is born. More metaphors, huh? It must be some kind of hint, like last time. Ew. It's a hand. And this. The Nonupal X symbol. I remember Tokiko mentioning it. I'm curious about the water and ideas flow part. Anyway, let's check inside. Yeah, if we get stuck, we can read the hint again and figure it out. 
check inside what? Um, I'm guessing wherever there's a flow. How should I check? A uh, high five? When in Rome. How about making the same hand sign? Hmm, what are we doing wrong? If we don't know, we should check the book again. Blank, it seems. Tokiko's blank. It seems like Tokiko's crazy! It lit up! This world is alive. Do you understand? Was that Tokiko's voice? It sounded like she was talking to someone. Tokiko has blank blank and blank blank completely within blank. Tokiko has gone insane. Are you in a flow? Yeah. Huh? The light is gone. Maybe we did something wrong? Whoops. Anyway, let's check the others. Tokyo Hill is blank blank and blank resides completely Four within minutes her. remaining. And despair completely resides within her. Okay. Mm, I don't think this is right. Maybe you're doing it wrong. Right. I remember Tokiko doing it with an O face and her legs wide open. Mm. Oh, she didn't. <laughs> Digging deeper, it seems Tokiko's insane. <laughs> uh, where water and love flow. I did that bottom one, yeah. No? Is it that one in the middle? Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Send. Damn it, I guess I did that one. Nope. Nothing is happening. Maybe we do the hand signs. Ugh. You don't need help from a door's map to figure that out. Maybe. Do you trust my intuition? Okay. Digging deeper, it seems Tokiko's thoughts are more clear. Yep, maybe that one? No, but that's not in a flow. Where water and love flow, ideas are born. Uh, this one? Too bright! It's settled. You will follow my orders. Tokiko's voice again. I wonder who she's talking to. She can't be talking to herself. Tokiko has lost blank and blank resides completely within blank. Tokiko has lost her mind and now despair reigns in her mind. Wait, if she lost her mind though, she can't. Whatever. Whatever. Nothing is happening. Maybe this isn't anything. Which ones have I not? Oh! Then maybe the last one is this one. Because it's said earlier the light disappeared. Maybe it'll come back now. Let's transcend this world together. Wait. She must be talking to... Ryuki, look! Outside the window! Shoma? What? Oh my gosh. What's going on? She is his mom.
So, I have so to she and does find have a truth. relationship with Shoma. Maybe what we heard earlier was for Shoma too. Love is born. Let's think about it later. Look at that. That's not creepy. It looks painful. I have a bad feeling about this. Follow it. You have three minutes left. Get it together, Ryuki. What do you mean, get it together? I'm doing fine. Oh, this is deep. Ooh. Ooh. But we're coming out sideways. We're gonna land on our butt. Or not. the same room again but vertical this is really messing with my sense of balance how far does this room even go another book hopefully this is the last oh this is so trippy Woo! it says when the eyes are met death is born death Tokiko is getting more and more suspicious. Maybe our focus should be on Nyes. Ew! Ew! The book and an eyeball. Do you think that's what is meant by eyes are met? Maybe it's talking about me. You are an eyeball, Tama. Why don't you lock eyes with it? No! Are you trying to kill me? It said death is born. This is so creepy and then, weird. When the eyes are met is... Think harder? Well, there are multiple books. Oh, that eye... Oh, there are multiple eyeball books. Ew, this is disgusting. I do not like this. It's so creepy. Just give me this eyeball. It's a red book of no! Teachings. It has an eye symbol. It's filled with eyes. Ah! Um, flip it over. Ew, ew. How about this? It's just a cover. Nope. Nothing is happening. Yeah, because I don't want to look at it. Her mind resides completely within insanity. Anyways, all I wanted was this eyeball. This! Um, okay, so when eyes are met, but is it the eyes? Oh, okay, so the book's back. I'm guessing it has to do with the actual eyeballs and not Ryuki, the book. Less than two minutes left. Be careful. Less than two minutes already? It's crazy. Uh, hello. Inspect the thing. Ah, gosh. Eyeball B. A big eyeball. What is going on inside her head that would make this appear? Like I said, that old woman is crazy. The... So what's it gonna be? The serial eyeball killer. Uh... F flip it. And... Spin. Flip it and reverse it. I set the eyes to face each other. I still have so much to do. Oh my gosh, will I make it? Do the other eyes have to meet too? Ah, oh, shoot. I wasted time coming up here. Hey, I didn't see this eyeball. Beepy toast, spinny toast. This is really messing with like... What is up? What is down? I do not know. An Curse eyeball. you, boxer man. Uh, leap it. Huh. Oh shoot! Am I gonna die now? Is I made the eyeballs beat. Eyes meeting means. But it's progressing, so I'm doing something right. Okay, and then I guess... 
Oops. Death is born. Go to that book. A red book. Mmm. If I flip it, I feel like it won't do anything. But if I close it, I get that times two. Let's try close. Got it. This should do it. Pokika has lost all sense of emotion and her mind resides completely within blank. There are timies with negative effects. Negative timies spend time and are forced to be used. If you get one, so be careful. Well, I got one. It'll double my time. Damn it. So then, does that mean I have to... Okay, whatever that book is on top, I gotta... You have less than a minute left. Yeah, shut up. Hurry! The red book. This book is closed. I gotta open it. And I have to use the times two. We'll make it 18 seconds. Open. Ugh. There are two eyes. Hmm. Ryuki, if you're stuck. Why don't you read the first book again? Her mind resides completely within Nirvana. Wait, what? Then do I have to close that bottom book? Oh my gosh. 30 seconds left. Ah! I mean, I really didn't do a lot of time wasting. Ah! A red book. Ah! No! I made it cost a second more. And now this is gonna give you a times two. I went over the time limit. Might have to redo this. Back. So, did we make the eyes meet? It's cause I went up and down so many times. A new book. When the eyes are met, death is born. Death. Tama, let's check that out too. Ryuki, you're out of time! Uh okay, we try. Um Yeah, the one with three minutes left. Or should I do the one? But this one has so much time. Let's just try that. Yeah, we'll try that checkpoint. Now I know not to go swimming up and down too many times. Flip the eyeballs on the same side first. Ugh. Sucks. So she does have. Or I shouldn't have gone around inspecting all those Looks skulls like before, but whatever. Does this take up just a whole minute? You have minute? three minutes left. Just Get going together, down? Ryuki. Let's see. I started at three minutes, so that was 180. Now that almost... No, that didn't take up like a whole... Okay. 
Gotta go down to read the book. And now we gotta... That eyeball's flipped. Eyeball's not. Gotta fuck big Like I said, so what's it gonna... Uh, we're gonna... Then we're gonna um actually while we're up here no that has to stay closed the the book at the bottom has to um has to close so not a book here okay so this book has to open the red but this book is we have to open it I'm gonna open it. Bear ice. That's it? Yep. It might be. Oh my gosh, that has to be open last? Okay, so these regular eyeballs have to be flipped first. Uh, uh, An eyeball. Uh, flip it and reverse it. <laughs> Ryuki, less than two minutes left. Be careful. And... Uh, this book has to close. It's a red book. It has an eye. It's fit. Got it. Um. That. Am I near the desk? The desk is gone, so no eyeball anyway. Okay, whatever. I, I don't care anymore. Um, and then... That one had to open, right? This one had to op open. A close. I'm gonna. It wasn't open, so that one has to close. Oh my gosh, I hate this. A red book. Got it. Okay, and then. A new book appeared. i read it. It's a new book of nice teachings. This time, it's closed. Have to open it. Huh? A mirror? ARP Mako? What does that mean? Are these all the people she's killing? That's not cool, man. What was that? So many people. Sorry, stepped away. It's totally thinking. cool. There's still more? Oh my gosh! I don't have time! I do not have the time to do this. I, re I really wasted time choosing the wrong options for the red books too. I was supposed to close them, but I kept opening it. Uh, so you want me to dive in again? Tama, go! Uh. You have less than a minute left. Hurry! Yeah, yeah. Whew. I thought I was gonna fall forever. You got some balls, Tama. Thanks. She but is there's a ball. nothing here. An eyeball. Doesn't look like we can learn anything here. Mm -hmm. That's... 27 seconds to inspect this? At the end of an incomplete <sighs> world, truth is born.
Ew. That's... Nanya X. There's something there. Let's go. 30 seconds left. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Frack! Let's just try. Let's just try. Make sure you keep ascending. Oh yeah, I'm holding ascend. But I'm not gonna make it. Ryuki, you're out of time! Yeah, shut up! I'm gonna try! Yeah, I didn't make it. It's uh, almost time, Ryuki! Huh? Already? We haven't even gotten close to the truth! Tokiko... No, no, no! No, no, no! Redo! Redo! No, 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 no! No, no, no! Retry. Retry. We start from. Restart the whole sink. Started from the beginning. Frack! I spent too much time inspecting the stupid skulls! Ah! Reboot. Give this! Okay, so just examine the book. Uh, and then examine this book. And then go into the bloody water. I can't. I don't care about the freaking eyeballs! <laughs> Screw you eyeballs! Uh, this one was... right here. It was the skull. <sighs> JT foiled by playing with too many heads again. <laughs> My hubris! <laughs> First it was a statue's head, then it was a skull's head. <laughs> what can I say? I like head. <laughs> Ryuki, you have five yes, minutes so remaining. So it was this one. Ah! Brack! How should I check? When in Rome. It lit up. She gets a lot of them. Ha ha ha. What's that? It's so and then the second one was closer to her. I think it was the one on the desk. No, it wasn't. Frack! Maybe you're right. Oh, she. Which one was it? Was it? It was it. Ah, oh, damn it! It was that one. And then the last one was right here. And a Shoma. So she. Go in here. Wow, look at how much time I have now. I'm amazing. That was so dumb. Like the part about the skull part was very confusing. The the hands one were water and love flow. I knew I had to find Four ones that was remaining. in a in a current, but I just had trouble navigating. That's my bad. But the one about the skulls was just like dumb. <laughs> okay, so now I gotta flip this eyeball. Like I said, so what? But 
flipping. Oh, wow. This gives me negative 15 time now because I suck. Okay, uh, we're gonna flip the other eyeball first and then it should allow us to do the books. Gotta do the cooking by the book. An eyeball. Uh, yeah, now we could do the books. It's a red book. It has an eye. It's fit. Time close. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we go. Which one was open? The sun to find that. This one was open. Send more? A red book. Uh, we close it. God. You have three <gasps> minutes left. It's a new Get it together, time. Ryuki. Uh, open. Jump in. Oh, but now I have a time times nine. So when I inspect the stupid book, it's still going to take so much time. Or not? Ryuki, less than two minutes left. Be careful. This last action is gonna make me go over time. What? Like, if it's anything more than 10 seconds, I'm just done. Uh... Ascend, you fool! At the earliest possible moment, inspect the book. I am not near it. Open. I'm going to open it. Is it some kind of planning sheet? It says Nirvana Initiative. Is that the title of the game? The Nirvana Initiative. No good. There's too much blacked out. Come on. Isn't there anything else? Ryuki, we're almost out of time. Wait. Try reading more of it. Peter, please. Found a mysterious planning document. Jelly sucks a lot. Wow, thanks. I gained 30 eyeballs. Nirvana. Now we gotta go interview Gen and Shoma. Go! Ah, I spilled water. Miss Shigure, I've taken a look inside your mind, using this machine. I know your secret. About Gen. Do you know someone named Gen Ishiagane? He appeared in your dream. About Shoma. Shoma Enda. I know you know about him. Can you tell me about your relationship with him? What is the Nirvana Initiative? The Nirvana Initiative. Is it some sort of plan? Hold up. I think I could talk to my eyeball. What do you think of eyeballs? Pretty. Happy. Pokiko standing there. She doesn't seem phased. Uh, can I talk to Peter? About that Somnium. You don't have to explain. The images shown in Somnium are all displayed here in the control room. 
What to do with Tokiko? Tokiko Shigure is not a suspect. We can't detain her without clear grounds to do so. So we have to release her. I guess we have no choice. Oh, but what about boss? Whoops. It seems you have many questions for me, but I apologize. I'm afraid I have prior engagements. Could you please visit like me at my office people. again at 10 o'clock tonight? I would be happy to share more information with you then. Now, if you'll excuse me. You're not excused. How dare you leave? Wait, where's Pewter? He went to see Doki go off. I see. So, what do I do now? Figure that out yourself. What do I do now? We go talk to- Go eat pancakes. <laughs> Asked to tie me up in tortoiseshell rope binding. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Become a major league baseball player, go see Gen and Shoma. First of all, we're going to save because I want to do silly options and I want to see if that creates a game over. Go eat pancakes. You think this is a damn joke? Don't make me sentence you to a panting! A what? <laughs> what? What is that? Uh... Ask to tie me up in tortoiseshell rope binding. We already did that yesterday. No more for a while. We did it yesterday? Why not? Come on, just a little bit. What were you guys doing? Become a major league baseball player. I know. I'll become a major leaguer. Yeah, good luck with that. Go see Gen and Shoma. In that Somnium earlier, Gen appeared. You know you want to, panty toast. <laughs> and Shoma did too. I did it. So I selected Tokyo all the weird definitely options. Definitely knows them. And yet. Could you please visit me at my office again at 10 o'clock tonight? Tama, what time is it now? A little past 1300. We have almost nine whole hours until the appointed time. Anyway, let's talk to Gen and Shoma. Where are they now? Mm, well, I can't track down either of them. Either their phones are out of battery, their GPS is off, or they're somewhere without any signal. Then we'll have to take a guess. Maybe Shoma is at school. No, he hasn't been there in a while. Uh-oh. He hasn't been going to school? It seems not. Well, I'll get to that later. So then Shoma must be at home, or... Yes, he really loves this Ferris wheel too. At the rooftop amusement park at Misaton. Gen is probably at his restaurant or the warehouse district at the port. He once told me he loves the warehouse district and that he goes there all the time to look at the sea. So we have four destinations to check. Let's get moving. Okay, um... Let's see, it's been about two hours since I started, and this seems like a totally new section of the game. I'm just gonna leave this here because I am starting to get a little dizzy. I think I need to calm down. Save the current game. Yes. Okay. And then I'm gonna check my evaluation to see if I leveled up. Wow, the loading takes forever. Class up! Yay! Mermaid outfit and cat paws and tail! Heck yeah! And you know what we gotta do? We gonna go to bonus. We're gonna spend all of my eyeballs on outfits. I don't even really like- wait, I, I wanna see if there's anything new in the dream album. <laughs> As a statue. Tokiko. Okay. Um, outfits. Cat ears. Mermaid outfit. Cat paws and tail. Okay, I could afford both. I will do both. Yay! I prefer dogs, but I, I don't know. Animal things? Animal attachments? Cute! And 
I will unlock the the silly silly image. Hurry and check it out. Come on. <laughs> okay. Um Yeah, I don't want to go back into Tama's room right now, so... This will be it for me tonight. So... Yeah. The philosophy bit was weird, but... I'm interested to see where this game is going. It seems crazy. It seems like it's only gonna get crazier. Rest easy t tonight? Yeah, I have to. Thanks for the stream. Posture check! The stream's over. Um, but yeah, I don't know when I'll stream this next. Definitely next week, but I'm excited to keep playing this. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Stay toasty, have a good night, have a great weekend, stay cool. Bye-bye. <sighs>